Hey gang, so this is day two. Day two of uh, dismantling the ugly house. Uh, we've got the roof off. Um, and now it's time to take the walls down, drop the ceiling, and I think it's gonna be chaos. So, uh, hope you enjoy this episode and let's get into it. All right, we're going full Bono, yellow glasses for this project. It's gonna be rock and roll. Um, I think what I'm gonna do is, my bin is eight foot wide by 12 foot long. So I'm gonna try and take this off in sections and sawzall it and then peel it back with the digger. I don't know how this is gonna come apart or how hard it is. I wish what I could do is just plunge a chainsaw and then go down, but there's so many nails, it's gonna be not, that's not gonna work. So, um, yeah, trial and error. exactly as planned. Um, I don't know what I was thinking. I was thinking in my fairy tale mind that this would come out in a nice big square and I could put it on the pallet porch and drop it in the bin. But it's not going to do that, is it? It's all connected. So um, thank God for the tractor, but I got a ton of mess to So this is going to be a really messy process and dangerous because it's got nails poking up everywhere. Yeah, where it goes.
trails. All of my trails. As I go, I'm realizing there's more and more I can salvage. Um, like this bat insulation is in perfect condition. And insulation, I don't know if you check lately, but Roxol is a hundred bucks a bag. And um, this stuff's probably 50 bucks a bag. So if it's got no rat poop in it, only the corner seems to be in, have a little damage, but the rest of it is totally fine. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick away at it. And I'm also realizing that um, I'm gonna have to move this twice. So what I'm gonna do is, uh, this is the deck that we pulled off the side, and I'm gonna use this for our new store floor store floor rhymes um so i need to put a new two by six down the side brace it up and then i'm going to chain it up and drag it across to where it's going to lay and then i can park a bin right here and only move this stuff once so it's going to be a slow process i got to resign myself to that um otherwise you can, you can imagine i can drive over a nail in a second and thank god for the tractor though hey i mean this would just be back breaking getting that wall down keep it on Day two on this demolition, or day, yeah, day two. Um, and it's raining again. It's uh, really feeling like socked in, you know. I remember people telling me that Squamish got like this, and even North Van gets like this, but I think the only reason it's kind of bugging me a little bit is because I want to be working. If I wasn't working on the land, you'd just be like, meh. You know, back at our old house in North Van, I didn't have any outdoor work to do. I'd done it all, so it didn't really matter, let it rain. Um, but... You can see everywhere where I drive the tractor, it just turns into swampland. And but the problem is knocking this thing down um, needs the help of the tractor. You know, I'm not going to injure myself. So oh, we got the gaping hole in the front now, and uh, I've got a bin, which is not going to take me long to fill. But I'm going to fill it by hand because there's so many nails in this. If I get a puncture, I'm never going to forgive myself. So. It's really a slow process. I have been salvaging the insulation out of there and as many two by fours as I can, um, which in the old days, we never even thought about that, right? But the cost of lumber is so crazy. So anyway, um, I'm going to start loading up this bin and getting, getting some progress. honest moment I am feeling pretty discouraged with how slow this is going and how quickly it fills up in that aren't cheap to dispose of and honestly I'm feeling I'm feeling pretty worn down by the energy of the rest of the family um, who are just constantly in a state of missing home and I, and I and I know that that's needed to mourn but and I'm not asking them to change for me it's just um, it, like I feel really heavy because I'm carrying it I'm just carrying it it, it rubs off right um, I made the I made the I pushed to make this move and I know it's a right move deep down but um, I find myself feeling pretty wound up inside because I'm just hearing all of this and seeing these tears and hearing the kind of unhappiness and not fully unhappy, but just, you know, pining. And it just really drags me down, like feels like I'm wearing concrete shoes, um, spiritually maybe or, or something. Um, so yeah, hope, I'm sure it will pass, but <clears throat> it's raining. It's yucky. I'm all alone, chipping away at this huge project here. I mean, 
each section has so much material in it it's hard to understand really but it's just a lot destructing this um by myself <laughs> with no other kind of like labor help <clears throat> um and also feeling this added kind of like frazzlement in my brain as a that word my dad used to use frazzled and uh i know what it is i know it's it's the uh it's just feeling this energy in the home um um, you know, I'm not throwing any of my family under the bus as far as, you know, being too transparent, but I guess I'm just being honest, um, that, uh, it makes me feel heavy. I know. Best thing ever is when you get brought lunch. Thanks, Amelia. Did you make it yourself? No. Oh. Watch this. Oh, I didn't see that. Just go straight. You're good. Well, we're getting there one foot at a time. Looks like we made about, uh, I don't know, 10 feet today. I think it's a lot more because we got the end wall. But what I'm finding is, I mean, I love um, salvaging stuff. It's just great because it's like, I don't know, it's free stuff, right? Like these roof trusses are pretty cool. Um, not a huge pitch on them, but we don't get a lot of snow here. So, and you can see the two by fours I'm salvaging over there. I salvaged the roof. Salvaged all the roof trusses, um, salvaged a bunch of insulation because I got to close up the wall on the end and put a wall in when I take off that little kick out there. So all in all, a pretty good um, three or four hours work. I'm going to go hang out with my son now and uh, go buy some fishing gear. <laughs> 